Boss, hey boss. You know, it's Mary and Damn, you guys bought this house? Hi, Mr. Yes, sir, Ryan. just did. Yes, did. You, you guys just bought it? Holy we just bought it. Now. Let me, can, I, can I take a look inside? Of I want course, to see how big yeah. This is. Come Apple on in, Mr. Lang. Mr. Lang, it's fucking massive. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> look at this place. God dang. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> yeah. Holy. Isn't that great, Mr. This Lang? This is like a. This is massive. Oh my <laughs> god. This is fucking massive. Holy. I know, right? Shit. I didn't expect it to be this big. Hey, boys. Well, uh, how much you guys pay for it? Uh, three thirty-nine. Yeah. Three thirty-nine. Three thirty-nine. Three. Oh, three thirty-nine for yeah, this. Yeah, we got we bad. got a deal, it's Mr. Lang. We got a fucking deal. And yeah, we got a good ass uh, view too. God. Damn, we're gonna I take got, we're gonna I take this meeting to the backyard. Damn, what the fuck? Yeah, come see the backyard. <laughs> I, got, I got fucking scammed. We up good. Wait, what are where are you, live, Mr. Lang? <laughs> Oh, you don't want to know. I mean, I got scammed. That's all I know. Oh, God damn. damn. Hey, you guys got a pool and shit? Yeah, look at us. We're going to put this trash view? bags in there and make it trash juice pool. Holy shit. Yeah, this look at this place. A fucking steal of a fucking <laughs> house. What? Okay. Yeah. This is God so funny. Damn. Right, right. Hey, Mr. Lang, we couldn't have gotten it without you guys. Yeah, we were talking about this, and uh, we we just want to let you know how much we appreciate you. You know, we're gonna work hard, we're even more. Grateful. I mean, listen, guys, guys, you 100%. you guys put in all the fucking hard work. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you know, you gave us the, kind of the opportunity. You know, we like, bumped our pay, and we were able to we we're able to make something with it. Yeah. Much appreciated. Okay, well, fuck. This is a fucking great house, guys. Holy Thank you. shit. It's probably <laughs> one of the nicest houses in Mirror Park. I mean, the fucking view on the back is fucking wonderful. Yeah, we, we right. literally witnessed a cop chase our first visit here. Yeah. Right down the highway. God damn. You uh, know how we had that meeting that one day and you were like, the boys, uh, everybody needs more than just uh, the trash. And uh, I was yeah. thinking with this house, the boys will have, you know, other avenues they can take uh, to help... Uh, just help everybody in the group, you know? So. And of, of course, you know, I'm staying clean because, uh, you know, I'm the owner of the house and, uh, yeah, and it's going to be great. So many new opportunities. And then we can also all bring our materials here and then we can, if you ever want to come here and grab them, that way we don't have to do everything at the yard no more. All right. Hell yeah. Um, I think so. Uh, the first order of business is... Uh, so with Ma with Mary now, uh, oh, she is, yeah, she she's uh, I mean, she's, <laughs> she's, she's our neighbor. neighbor. Yep. Uh, yep. she's going to be, right now she's testing the mark for for uh, vehicle repairs. Um, so like before, like we could have never really raised the prices before because of Mary's deal, right? Uh huh. Uh, she had to stay at a certain price, uh, because she. Needed, you know, to fix cars, and if we were to raise the price on her, it would mean that she would need to raise the prices on repairs, which mean, you know, uh, potentially less repairs for her and her business. Now, she came to me like two days ago, and she said, you know, uh, with these circuit board prices, you know, going fucking up, uh, it's impossible for me to buy materials because everybody gets fucking recyclables, or whatever. And then she said, uh, pretty much, uh, let's test the market. I I'm going to raise my prices to where I can afford. Uh, to buy materials at uh, at eight dollars. Eight. But uh, right now she, where she's buying at seven because we're gradually testing it. So she's buying at seven per. Uh, she's gonna see how it goes with repairs. I think it's been going well, from what I can gather. And then uh, once that kind of you know, w once she realizes that it works, she can keep her shop open, whatever. Uh, she's gonna raise it again to eight. And then we pretty much have a permanent, uh, you know, contract at eight dollars per. Now, uh, with the circuit boards, I, I know people are, you know, spinning these crazy ass rumors. Oh, I'm selling at twelve per, or I'm selling at eleven, or whatever. And that may be true, but they they probably don't sell anywhere near at the volume that we sell at. Which, uh, you know, we're selling like five, ten, twenty fucking thousand at a time, right? And the yeah. only reason we can do that is because you know we're, we're all throwing in you know, our materials together to fulfill the orders, right? Now, uh, so that's why Mary's contract is very important. It allows us, it, it gives us security that we know that no matter what, 
um, we, we're always going to have somebody that's buying materials from us. Because even with these circuit boards, it's not going to last forever. It, it, it might last long enough where it feels good. But, you know, two, three months, four months down the line, I mean, I, I can't imagine a fuck ton of people are still getting these circuit boards at the, at the volume that they need it right now. Now, uh, on top of that, uh, Santana was approached by Cap Slacks. Uh, right, Santana? Was it you that was approached? Uh, Jason. 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 Or Jason, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was approached by Cap Slacks. Cap Slacks now, appara- apparently the, the, the PD is going to need fucking materials. And if we can secure that, uh, it means, you know, government fucking money. So, uh, with that being said, I don't think we try to, you know, we don't try to scam them or, or rip them off. Uh, sorry, it's just Teddy. Let me text him back real quick. Even if you have to go hey, cheaper Google for man, them, good to see you. 100% worth Let's it. Let's go. Huge yeah, W for go cheaper. I think, I think the minimum we go is $8. Let's go. Uh, I think that's a good landing Thank you so point much for, for hopping for in from Buddha Stream. Appreciate you all. Uh, we go at Welcome. $8, and, and but then we try to get them on a contract where they exclusively only buy from us and nobody else. Oh, that truly really, like sets us up for good to be honest like we could just have Seriously. those two contracts and we'll be so good i mean obviously we'll do the circuit boards on the side you know but truly the long term just off those two we're pretty stuck yeah for real yeah so obviously like the, the side deals i like, get lucrative and, and it's good for money but for me i, I just want to focus on the contracts uh because those will last forever side deals they kind of come and they kind of go uh so if we can, and if we can, you know, we start with Mosley's, right? We, we secured that contract. Now we got, and, and you see that it worked, right? Because now you have Captain Slacks specifically approaching us, probably because he hears how well we do when it comes to fulfilling orders, right? So, so clearly the reputation is kind of following, uh, you know, the work that we do, right? So now, now we secure uh, the police. That's another contract bank secured. And we don't know what else or what other ventures or even businesses will come up in the future that will need some sort of uh, consistent flow of materials, which then we can lock in a contract with these people and keep fulfilling. Obviously, we don't want to spread ourselves too thin. Uh, even though I say this every fucking day, uh, you motherfuckers work way too much. Uh, <laughs> so I ain't going to stop you. You guys are fucking grown-ass adults. But, you know, the reality is, uh, I personally want to see you guys working, you know, fucking 12 hours a fucking day. It's just unsustainable. You know, yeah. maybe it's sustainable now, but, you know, for the long term, uh, it's just not, you know, you guys are eventually going to want to move on, do more things, you know, other than fucking sanitation and shit like that right so we, we need to be, be, be prepared where we can fulfill our orders not break our backs doing it but still make good money doing it right yeah yeah exactly and i've got plans for that in the future i'm already having santana build up his team in the other shift who will just directly sell to him i have my team that directly sells to me uh, eventually boo will have his own team that directly sells to him and of course that goes up to the up the ladder to eventually you that way you don't have to talk to more people you're just speaking to me santana boo and teddy um keeps it easy keeps the uh structure there uh that way the more people we add to our team obviously we're not gonna let uh, rats or snakes uh come into our ranks but uh the more people we add in the future less work that or less hours that we'll each have to put in that's the goal and then also with this house the boys can uh, do things besides sanitation uh whatever avenues they want to take with their futures yeah and, and and then on top of that um once we like get a business license and shit too hopefully that makes things a lot easier uh or we can go you know we can go uh we can get a, you know a property uh we can get hopefully like a business account uh obviously have you know uh the head managers or whatever have access to the account and they were kind of moving money together and then people you know you, you guys are obviously you know sometimes i'm late on payments or i forget or whatever and it's probably fucking annoying so hopefully with the business account we kind of even just eliminate that where we can all see where the money's going where it's coming from uh we can fulfill orders together more uh better and, and it kind of starts solidifying more us as a as a business versus us you know just trying to survive with what we got because we got to wait on 50 fucking million things to get done so we can be a business. Now, with that being said, this fucking mayor, uh, <laughs> you know, he's kind of, uh, you know, ghosting. It's like stalling. He's stalling out, but he's also, you know, making some crazy decisions. This, decisions I personally agree with, you know, with my views. But, uh, you know, the city is kind of going a bit of a riot on what he's doing. So we're going to see how that plays out, too, right? 
because I don't know. I, I think somebody's going to try to kill guys. the guy if you want my honest opinion. But we'll see. What? He was already kidnapped yeah, the I other mean, night. Apparently, apparently uh, last night or whatever, he uh, he passed uh, some sort of legislation or law where, you know, felons can't work at Group 6 anymore. Oh, oh shit. Man. Is that why which, everybody's which, honest, working makes at sense. sanitation? Makes perfect sense. Yep. Well, I mean, the, the funniest thing is... Uh, this morning, there was, I think, 10 crews working, and I was watching it the whole time, right? I, I, I watched it all day. Like, I'm always clocked in just so I can see the groups. Yeah, how within, many people are clocked in? like, 20 minutes, there was six. Yeah. And then within, like, 35 minutes, there was two. Oh, wow. So, like, people, people think, like, hey, you know, Lang's making all this money. Cloak's making all this money. Let's go make all this money. People, people don't really realize, right? And uh, it's kind of funny. That's why I, sometimes I, I, you know, I implore people to try and do what we do. If you don't realize, like, the work uh, in many different ways that it requires to fulfill the orders that we fulfill. Absolutely. Because, you know, you'll have a random guy be like, you know what? I heard Coke, you know, is selling, you know, a thousand circuit boards. Let's say $15 per or whatever, right? Let me go do that. <laughs> As if. They don't realize, okay, step one is getting what? To 50 stars? It's not so that easy. Grabbing all this junk out of these dumpsters, right? Step right. two is 100 stars. So you can start getting recyclables from Leo instead of him giving you an assorted goods of fucking materials, right? And step three, right, is, is increasing the increments of what you recycle your junk at. Step four is building a crew that you can fucking rely on that, that where you guys can pull together materials to fulfill orders. Step five is try not to, undercut, try not to get undercut or getting fucked and staying around and hustling and, and creating. <laughs> like, there's just so many fucking interest, in, intricate steps to making this work. That people think it's easy, like, oh, let me work grind, turn my fucking brain off for six hours, and make cash. Here, He's so it's, right. It's, obviously, the, the work in itself is fucking brain rot. People truly right? don't Looking understand. All day, but, but the steps around it to make money is, is crazy. Right. They so just see this is a job that creates materials. They're too short-sighted to realize how much work goes into getting that amount of materials to begin with. That, and then moving it, right? Yeah. Exactly. And, like, they don't they're understand. So used I'm oh, sorry to interrupt, ahead, but they, they don't understand that we've been building this for like over a month now. And uh, I've been at this a month yeah. and I'm that's just That's the only now reason why we've gotten to this point. You know, this didn't happen yeah. in a day. This happened in over a month. So it, it takes a lot of work and a lot of investment. So, so they'll come down here and be like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go group of four guys. Let's go make a thousand circuit boards so we can make, <laughs> you know, 10 grand, whatever. They'll go down there and they'll realize half an hour in, holy shit, I, I probably don't even have like 200, 200 circuit boards, maybe even 100. So for me, I love it when they go down there because I, I play a game with myself in my head to see how long it takes them to quit. And a majority of people already quit again. With that also being said, it, it, it's almost better sometimes when there is more crews working because it eases the, 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 the demand. And sometimes you have to be honest with yourself and realize, okay, there's way too much demand for mm -hmm. our supply. Like, we need help, right? Yep. So it's good that people, you know, have other options to go to, which allows us to kind of keep building up our surplus and we're, and we're not always hitting zero like for me like i don't really like to just to be sold out all the fucking time i always like to have a little little pile a surplus that way you know if we need to take a couple of days off or whatever uh you know we're not hurting for it or we're not already at zero materials and we got fucking orders coming in it's kind of how i operate with it so now with that being said sometimes sometimes shit gets so fucking hot that you just don't have a choice you just gotta sell <laughs> out and then you know work around the clock you just got all the crews sell going. Out. I mean, even so that one funny. night, it was cool to see. Like we had, a, we had a massive order, and I think we fulfilled that order like within oh, a few hours. Okay. Yeah, that fucking order we fulfilled like a few hours because we had so many crews out running, uh, and, and some of us were already out running and had shit piled up. So it was cool to see like when something, when we get a fucking big deal, and people get to make fucking money, uh, we're, we're kind of always ready for it as well. I, I really think there's no sanitation crew as good as ours right now. Uh, oh, not yeah. even fucking close, even if they, even if they fucking try. No, yeah, yeah we, we definitely control, I believe, like, at least 80% of the material market. Like, there's just no, yeah. nobody can handle the amount that we do. And we got the best people who, like, work a lot. I mean, it's not even work a lot, too, but, you know, always consistently, you know, sell to us. Nobody has it like us, Mr. Lang. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, the yeah. union word is outdated, yeah. but we are united. Like, we are all in it together. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's other, uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you, too, next storm... Uh, we're even getting more of a foothold because you know how Arthur was like snaking us. Yeah. I'm fucking snaking his ass. I'm yeah. taking his people that are selling to him. I'm poaching the shit out of them. I, I have a whole fucking like spiel that doesn't mention like any union or related union shit. I'm basically phrasing it to them as me building like my own shit. 
and them, yeah. you know, just being like a part of that. And I'm just kind of one by one uh, taking a lot of like his more consistent people. So, yeah. So well, the this plan is more. Right. Yeah. Oh, sorry. The plan is more. Right? Oh, sorry, Mr. Wing. Sorry. sorry go, ahead. <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead. Uh, just the plan that I told you about with uh, having Santana take over that shift and uh, snaking uh, Mr. Arthur because he snaked us. Uh, it's worked perfectly totally because fair. now Mr. Arthur literally has no hold on that shift. Now it's literally just us. I mean, there's a reason why, you know, I, I picked you guys. Uh, I've invested time in, in, in specific people, uh, especially when it came to the unit, right? Like the unit was was always kind of a, a playing field. So awkward when we interrupt see, like, each who other. Who can actually work? <laughs> who can take it one step further? Who, who can manage? Who can take it one step further? Who can be proactive, recruit, make sales, be a salesman, woman, whatever, right? And I mean, you guys, uh, you, you guys kill it with this shit. Uh, you guys have stepped up. Uh, you guys, have, you guys have fucking done great work. I mean, the, the house it, is proof. You know, not, not to beat a dead horse, but the way we're operating as a sanitation crew, and then hopefully a business here soon, uh, I'm gonna start getting aggressive with this fucking mayor. I swear to God, I am. Uh, nobody else can replicate it. They could try, and maybe they'll get close, maybe, but I don't know. It's it's just way too good right now. It's only getting better. Like, our market share is only going to grow. It really is. Yeah. I mean, we got to think, like, long term, right? Like, like Bo said, you know, he's been for, for this for, like, a month, and now he's finally starting to fucking turn a profit because sometimes, like, you just have to look at the fucking bigger picture. Uh, you know, people were calling me fucking stupid, give me shit every fucking day because I refuse to, to up my uh, prices with Mary. You know, when circuit boards kind of first hit the market and they were going, like, at six, seven or whatever, I stayed with Mary at four, right? I, I didn't care. I'm like, no, like I'm honoring this fucking deal. I, I want this long term contract because that's always going to be where the fucking money is. Like getting rich quick is good, but also sustainability is way better. Just, just knowing that, you know, Mary right now, like every other day kind of gives us a, an order to fulfill. And that's constant no matter what. So I, I know every other day we, we got money coming in. I, I can buy from you guys. I can sell to her. Give you guys your cut. Get my cut. We make money. That, that is guaranteed no matter what. And now we have this coming up. With the Listen, if we get this contract with the fucking police department, it's over. Like, it's over. Yeah, because that's almost every week. It's going to be every week. It's consistent. And we're never going to have to worry about them having money or not because 100% they're getting back by the fucking government. You know what I mean? It, it's going to be government fucking cash. And, and that money is, is unlimited. Yeah, I wonder how much demand they're going to have because we're going to have to do the numbers because uh, the circuit boards are a side thing. So these orders are priorities. So you said with Mary, she orders about 1,200 every two days, correct? She ordered, let me do the math. Before she was ordering like 12,000 every other day, which was insane. But that was because the prices were so fucking cheap, right? But now she's doing... 12,000. I meant 12,000. <laughs> like around, around like 6,000 and some change every other day. Okay. So it's like way yep. more manageable, but the price, are, the price is higher. So we're, 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 you know, theoretically making more money for less work. That's great for us. That's great for we us because less hours we got to put in, honestly. Once we have those two yeah. deals, like fully fleshed out amounts, frequency, all of that numbers, then... You know, you share that information with us. That way we have like a quota, if you will. We prioritize you know, those two deals so we always can meet that. And then the other shit is just, you know, like what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, knowing now, exactly how much we want to have set aside for you before right. we start selling yeah. stuff on our own. Exactly, exactly. So that way we never miss the quota on top, you know? Yeah, so I so I think, I, think, I, th I think right now it's perfect. I think, so it's, it's, it's exactly what you guys said. I want to get to a place where we just have contracts where we know what the number is, when it needs to be fulfilled, and then we just fulfill those orders, you guys do your side orders, and then we're just kind of double dipping in the ways we make money. That sounds yeah. perfect. And me personally, I don't know about everybody, but me personally, when I have like an actual target goal in mind, I work way better. So I know yeah. exactly what I need to do. Yeah. So. Yeah, and, and then you know you don't have to break your back, right? It's, it's almost better exactly. because you know like, oh, you I can know, pace we, we myself. Get yeah, we can pace ourselves. We can we can be like, oh, do we have six thousand, you know, for for the day. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's take the fucking day off. Let's chill. You know, we can make the order for tomorrow, or whatever. Yeah, and another thing on that, like for future reference, you can have like specific teams for specific contracts and stuff like that. Ah, uh, that's yeah, something well, to think it, about in the future. I don't think we're there yeah. yet. In in a perfect world, I want to get it to where, you know, it's almost like it's fucking Wall Street, and you know, whoever whoever produces the materials first, we give a contract to type shit, but. 
I think we're a ways away from that because we're definitely going to need more businesses that need materials consistently to be open. But uh, like I said, once once we have the joint account, once we have a building where we can meet up, you know, park our trucks, fucking a spot to chill, eat lunch, whatever. I, I think it gets way better for us in terms of uh, feeling more like, you know, like an actual crew versus, you know, I got to keep shit here. I got to come there, grab it from your fucking truck. I got to go pay you, you know, six different guys from fucking one account. I, I got to grab cash from you, grab cash. from You know what I mean? It, yeah. It's kind of crazy right now. So hopefully we can consolidate it all in just one specific area and have one specific account. And I'm telling you, the workload eases up like by like 30%. Agreed. I can't wait for us to get that yeah, business account. That. Hopefully within the next few weeks, right? I mean, I mean listen, I'm hoping within the, in the next four or five days, I'm going to be honest. Like, I, I'm losing my shit. I don't know what the fuck this, this, this mayor is doing. I, I really don't get it. I'm trying to stay cool. You know, I, I, when I lose my shit, I lose my shit. I'm trying not to lose my shit. But I'm getting real fucking close to losing my shit. I'm going to be honest. You said I'm trying that, to get this business going, you know? Yeah, you said that people are trying to kidnap him. I wonder if he has just, like, so much on his plate dealing with all this other shit that he's kind of forgetting about, like, the business proposals the pr business proposals or something. Not too sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm going to try to get a hold, a hold of him today and just see Cloak what the fuck's stuttering. going on. But I'm also playing the game where I'm not trying to become that fucking annoying guy that gets put at the bottom of the list. Yeah. So it's difficult. Right. Antenna, you said they were already looking over proposals or not? They're looking at them, but they're not approving or denying okay. yet. Yeah. That was straight so, from uh, Juno, the chief staff. Yeah, yeah. That's what she told me as well. They were looking at shit. Uh, they haven't really been approving or denying anything. Uh, they do want to work with us. But, you know, for me, I have a hard time believing what people have to fucking say. But we should be good once it starts popping off. I'm just hoping we're not being, you know, led around and shit. Yeah, there's no reason to think they would, right? I mean, I think we have, you know, we're on fairly good terms with them. Yeah, we. I, well, I am on good terms with them, uh, from what I think I am. Right, I, I don't really know what their what their motives are, what their plans are, but you know, from from the beginning, uh, you know, I, I give you know uh, young dad my word. I got him a, a bunch of fucking votes. Uh, we can't pay for the guy down at the fucking union, right? So I'm hoping that he realizes this, and you know, I, I go way back with this motherfucker, and he brought it up himself that he owes me one. So I want to see if he's a man of his fucking word, and we go from there. Hell yeah! All right, soon then, hopefully. All right. Yeah. Soon. Yeah. Listen, guys, I gotta have to I have to have a meeting with Teddy real quick. But just keep doing our fucking thing. Pace yourselves. Don't fucking burn out. Okay. I I need you guys to not fucking disappear like eighty percent of our crew has already. Okay. Of course. No worries about that. We're not going anywhere. You guys need breaks. You guys gotta chill. You know, it's, there's no sweat. Do what you gotta fucking do. I'll take a break after my twenty-four hour sanitation shift. Yeah, dude, that's that's crazy. I'll probably join you tonight though for for a run cloak, and then we'll try to see if I can hit three hundred. Yeah, you gotta hit three hundred, yeah. oh, man. Yeah, we can hit three hundred together, Mr. Lang. Yeah, I'm close. I'm close. I'm Me like two ninety something right now. Oh hell yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, fucking keep it up. All right, it's a fucking beautiful house. I'm I'm fucking pissed. I'm not gonna lie. Oh shit, sorry scammed. for pissing you off, but Appreciate thank you, Mr. You. Lang. Yeah, Have a I good got day. <laughs>